Hello YouTube, this is Mayan J, and today the purpose of this video is to show you how to root the Zoophone i5s. This is version number two, and as you can see here already, I have Super User, and I just use this uh, simple tool. It is called vroot. I use version uh, 1.7.5. So all you have to do is just you download vroot, it's going to open, uh, you have to install it, it's a exe file so it installs as a program and then once installed you're going to see uh, the screen is going to look just like this so once you get to the screen all you have to do is you go to settings then you go to general and then on general you scroll all the way down until you see developers options so you're going to tap into that and then you're gonna make sure that USB debugging is enabled. Now mine from factory, it was already enabled, so that was definitely great. And then after that, all you have to do is, you go to your home screen and then you connect your phone to the PC, just the way I'm doing it. And now your program is gonna read the phone and it's gonna let you know what a check mark. And we're gonna see that in just a second. Also, to install the drivers, all you have to do is you get Snappy, and Snappy will also install on your device. As you guys can see, let me show you here on the, uh, hold on, uh, as you guys can see right here, I have Snappy, it'll install automatically. Next thing you're going to see is a check mark, just like this, that means that your device was red. So all you have to do is to hit the green button down here, and the root's going to start, and then your device is going to reboot. So here we see the device is rebooting, all right, and now it's powering back up. This is right now is, has been the easiest method to root. Um, version 1.7.5 also works for a lot of MTK6592 devices, uh, such as the Zopo uh, CP998. Uh, according to Colonel Zap, he sent me a message uh, confirming that this is actually working for that device. So this is going to be a much easier way to root your uh, MTK6592 devices. All right, so here we see that the phone has booted up again. Actually, you know what? Let me try my little fancy fingerprint here. All right, and there we go. So here we see the super user application, so the device is definitely rooted. Uh, well, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Subscribe for more. Comment below. Like the video. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.